Now, scientists say that the recent deadly heat wave in West Africa and the Sahel would not have taken place without the impact of climate change. Temperatures soared above 48 degrees Celsius in Mali last month, with one hospital linking hundreds of deaths to the extreme heat. Researchers from the World Weather Attribution Group say human activities such as the burning of fossil fuels and deforestation made daytime temperatures up to one and a half degrees hotter than normal in the region. Well, let's speak to our environment correspondent, Matt McGraw. Uh, Matt, just explain what this survey found as what happened and why it is happening. Indeed, as you point out, this heat wave raged across the Sahel region in West Africa for five days and five even warmer nights in the end of March and early April. It saw temperatures, as you pointed out, across the region go above 45 degrees. In Mali, they went above 48. In one town, they went above 48 and a half degrees. So an intense burst of heat, which you say saw temperatures rise 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial in an awful lot of the region. But at night, temperatures were above two degrees in many parts of the region. And when you consider that this was during Ramadan, people were fasting, there was literally no relief. And that may well be linked to the number of deaths that people have recounted. A uh, hospital in Bamako in Mali seeing 102 deaths in the early days of April. They compare that to last year when they had 160 in the whole of April. So they're clearly linking those deaths to the heat. I say a lot of those people were elderly. And they also say that essentially this is the tip of the iceberg in terms of the numbers of people that were, were affected by this intense heat wave. And they're also warning about what will happen in decades to come if nothing is done to try and stop climate change and global warming. That's right. The researchers here link this very clearly to the use of oil, coal and gas, to deforestation, to agriculture around the world that have driven up emissions of carbon dioxide and other warming gases. That's put our current temperatures 1.2 degrees above what they were before the industrial era. But those temperatures are going to continue to rise. And the researchers say that this heat wave was essentially a once in 200 year event at the moment. But if our temperatures globally go up to about 2 degrees, which could happen in the next 10 to 15 years, maybe longer, then that heat wave would occur once every 20 years. So there's a massive multiplier in terms of the global temp average temperature going up in the next number of years. Matt McGraw, our environment correspondent, thank you.